What is going on? Welcome back to the channel. I am super fired up today. I get to bring you a super, super cool project and get it on your radar. Now, before we do that, as always, disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. I do this for educational purposes only. I do it so we can hang out, hopefully make a little bit of money, but get things on your radar and build a community of like-minded people. Now, who's ready? Let's get straight in. So guys, we have oasisprotocol.org. I'm gonna give you a quick overview to start it off. We've got the about section at the top, which is gonna to touch on the technology and the mission, the Mazari report, which we will touch on the team, the papers, the careers. They got the developers, which is the developer pro, the primer documentation, and the GitHub ecosystem, which got the grants program, ecosystem fund, accelerators, DeFi, and NFTs. We all know that I love NFTs, so that's gonna be touched on. The community, which has all of this and all of their social medias. Use Oasis, I will definitely be touching on the bridges and the wallets that you can use to use the Oasis and the Rose token. And if you wanna go and check out their blog, please click on there, it's got some really cool information in it. So about this, what is it? The technology, the Oasis network is a layer one proof of stake, decentralized network. It has two main components, the consensus layer and the paradigm layer. Now, the consensus layer is scalable, high throughout, secure proof of stake consensus run by the decentralized set of validator nodes. So they are gonna be validating what this system does. They'll have to have a certain amount of credit, certain amount of stake and rewards in the pool, and they will be validating this. Now, the paradigm layer hosts may parallel runtimes. So it's each gonna be representing a replicated compute environment with shared state. Okay, super, super cool. The scalability is huge. You can see how it works here. So we've got the consensus layer on top. We've got the paratime layer right there and all connecting together. Compatible paratime, confidential compute and enterprise paratime. The separation of confidence, what that does is it multiplies the paratime so they can process transactions in parallel, meaning complex workloads processed on a paratime won't slow down faster, simple transactions of each other. If this has just blown your mind and it's confusing you right now, all it really means in a dumbed down version is having different consensus and having different paradigms parallel to each other, basically like a cog, and the cog turns that one and turns that one. You can run multiple chains going through this, right? It makes it a lot faster, the speed is faster, and you get less problems. When it's just one technology chain going round, like imagine one cog, it's it's gonna be slower. These have multiple all connecting through with different layers. Super, super cool. So they have trusted execution environments, okay? So in a confidential paradigm, the nodes are required to use a type of secure computing technology. It's called T, T-E-E. -E. That's what it stands for, trusted execution environment. Now, it does act as a hypothetical black box for a contract execution in a confidential paradigm but the process ensures that data remains confidential, okay? It's never gonna be leaked to the node, the operator, or the application developer, which is number one. Now, the Oasis ETH over WASI, okay? That's Ethereum over the WASI token, is an open source example of confidential. So you can check that out yourself. They say it's a new era of blockchain, it really is, because it confidentially unlocks a range of new use cases on blockchain by allowing personal and sensitive data such as tier, social security number, bank statements, health information, whatever it is that you're using, these medical documents, things like that, whatever it is you need, it's allowing you to use these and be used on apps on the Oasis network. Something that's incredibly risky on layer one networks. So normal networks are layered one. Very risky just to have your security information on there. When you've got multiple layers, it's very easy to have it because the trust is there through these layers, right? It's got versatility. So the customized paratimes, the hardware and runtime specs, and open and closed paratimes, that explains to you what the verse, it can diverse to so many different ways that we can use this. What is the mission? Okay, I'm not gonna bore you to death by reading out the whole mission, so I need you to do your own research, but the top tips from this bit, okay, it is designed to be the next generation of blockchain. There's so many projects that are claiming this, but if you look at how they built this, I really do think they could be, okay? It's combined with its high, throughput and secure architecture, like we've talked about using it for speed, fast, getting it scalable, things like that, okay? And it's creating the first ever responsible data economy, which is super, super important to the world that we're in right now. Okay, the team, it is made up of top talent from around the world with backgrounds from Apple, Google, Amazon, 
Goldman Sachs, USC Berkeley, and so many more. You've got big universities like Stanford, Harvard, okay? There's an ultimate amount of experience coming in and they're all committed to growing and expanding the impact of this network. That's super, super cool. Their main activities now are supporting and bridging people together to build vibrant creative communities, facilitating and funding various communicating driven activities through grants, hackathons, and more, promoting transparency, governance, and the decentralized of the Oasis network, and driving awareness, educating, ensuring that everyone is informed about the ongoing activities products. Now, you can sign up to their newsletter, bang your address in there, channel is bet, put it in there, and get signed up. Touch it on the team like we've just talked about, we have, what I really like before I get into this is they've got their own pictures on. This is super important in projects to have your picture and be transparent. I don't know how to pronounce the name, so if I mess it up, get in the comments and let me know I've been silly. So, Jernej Koz, he's the director of the Oasis Foundation. We've got Tejez Jernez, we've got Peter Gilbert, who I have heard about a lot, Andrew Miller, Exin Shudong, and Nicholas Pinto. Now, the foundation team members, we've got Borivoj Kos, Gina Tirakaidu, Erikin Tuna, Adrija Kavanik. I'm not going to keep trying to pronounce these. Just have a look at their names and please just research them. Click on them and it will take you to their LinkedIn profile to have a look. So do your own research, look at all these, but I cannot embarrass myself by trying to pronounce all these names anymore. So looking through their ecosystem, right, we have the grants program, so you can actually apply now. Go down and do your own research to why you should apply, okay? This is why, we've got speed and scalability, tailored to your needs, privacy first on the blockchain, low gas fees, ease of development, and what they're looking for, so you can see if this is something for you. Now, they've also got the Ecosystem Fund, which is 235 million Oasis Ecosystem Fund. Apply there, same thing. If you scroll down, it's gonna tell you why and what they're looking for. Moving on to accelerators, you can join as one of their accelerators and get support in. Now, the NFT projects they've got is the DAP Radar and the Oasis Accelerate. Going to their DeFi, this is their DeFi projects. Now, tell me in the comments right now if you notice any of these, okay? These are huge, especially TGT.finance. That's one of my favorite projects on here, okay? This is what you're gonna look for in developers. Click on them if you've never heard of them and do your own research. Like we said, the NFT projects coming in is Meta Mirror, Tofu NFT, and Rose Art. All you gotta do is just click on them and it will take you to exactly what this place is, the new NFT marketplace. Okay, that's gonna show you, so that's their ecosystem. For those of you that have been waiting just to find out what the Rose token is, here we are. This is their native token. It's capped supply utility and settlement token for the Oasis network. It's used for staking and delegating on the Oasis consensus layer or smart contract operations that require fees and paradigms. So this is the overview. The native token is capped, okay? The circulating supply at launch will be approximately 1.5 five billion tokens and the total cap is fixed at 10 billion tokens the utility is used for transaction fees stake and delegation at consensus layers like we've spoke about this whole video stake and rewards approximately 2.3 billion tokens will be automatically distributed on chain and stake and rewards to and delegators for securing the network how do you earn it so you're going to earn it by participating in the community you're going to earn it by becoming a validator you can earn it by getting a rose grant we talked about that in the ecosystem, the grant project, please hit that. And you can obtain more information about it at CoinMarketCap. Just click that button and it will take you straight there. You want to learn how to stake it, please click the learn more. It can show you obviously the current status of the node, the uptime percentage of the node, the number of delegators and much, much, much more. To store it, you need to have BitPi or a ledger. Okay, get it stored on there and the supporters Obviously, the biggest one we notice out of these is Binance, and you can see all of them on here. So please, please make sure you are helping the network supporters by getting involved and getting this locked up. An Oasis wallet, so what you've got to do, okay, is you just create your Oasis wallet. It's robust. It allows for speedy transactions with the rows between wallets, and it contributes to the network and staking rewards up to 20%. The ledger supports allows as well. You're gonna click this button. It's gonna take you through to the wallet. 
All you're going to do is open it if you already have one and import it here, or you're going to create a brand new wallet, okay? All your settings are here with your light mode, and this is a super, super easy wallet to get your head around. One of the biggest things about this is the cross-chain capability on the Oasis network. It uses bridges. Now, this is very, very easy to get your head around with bridges, okay? You're just going to bridge the token towards the other tokens that you're using. So if I click on cellular bridge here, it's gonna take you to a Medium article explaining to you that Oasis Foundish has now partnered with their bridging network. Okay, so it enables asset bridging, which is super, super cool. It means low cost cross-chain values to and from other bridge supported blockchains and layer two networks. That's super cool and they have three different partnerships on here. Click on them, have a read about what is going on. On their Twitter now, it's at Oasis Protocol. Please only use the links down below because they're the trusted ones. Never just click on a random link. They got 162.5 thousand followers. Super, super cool. They get huge engagement, which is something we definitely look for. Let them know you're from this channel and give them a follow, please. So guys, there we have it, all right? I am super fired up about this project. Please let you know if you liked it. Get in the comments and let us know. Only use trusted links, that's my top tip. Now, please hit that like button. Smash dash that subscribe button as hard as you can. And please get involved with hitting that notification and you will get notified when there's more videos like this. So until the next one, until that notification comes through, have a very blessed day. It's been a pleasure, goodbye.